luck to both you. Touch him up. Super middleweight. Nice right hand by Taylor. By whether Frotz can take those right hands. Work angles. Make sure that you allow your right hand time to be set up. As opposed to going for knockouts right away. Do well early. But go. Big right by Frotz. But can yeah, you make it? Taylor is. And he's gotten a little taste of it so far. Short left hook on a pivot by Taylor. And when he uses them, he's a tough guy to handle in the ring. The WBC Super Middleweight Championship. Frotch. Very nice right hand there. Didn't do much damage to Taylor. Now Taylor and Frotch mixing it up a bit. One of the greatest fighters in the world twice, Bernard Hopkins, to take his middleweight belt. Oh, nice right hand by Taylor. That backed up, Frotch, but Frotch. Oh, my. Frotch on the ropes. He may be hurt. Frotch is hurt. Right hand, and Frotch goes down. All right, let's go. It's the first time he's been knocked down. Carelessly, and he did. A right hand lands from Jermaine Taylor and Sends Frotch to the canvas. Most expected him to have a very good portion in the first part of this fight. He barely misses. Left hand by Taylor. First title defense for Frotch. Which is a, a fairly long drought. Now during that time he's fought nothing but champions or former champions. So right, right. he's had a, a tremendous... Punches in front. You know, Taylor knocking down Frotch in the third round. Taylor establishing his jab. As we start the fifth, it's been wicked. Well, so far in this fight, he's doing it. Although Frotch is having a little bit better round five. But Taylor is fighting a purposeful, effective fight. Ooh, nice that left punch hooks. Is up to me. Six through 12 with the same kind of intention. for 12. Both fighters exchanging stiff jab. You know, they could go either way. Left hook by Frotch. Connecting. He blocks Taylor's jab. Taylor. Nice work at the end of the round. It's true in this fight with Frotch when he had him in trouble with a, a little bit landed in round six, which was a great right. And there's another one. Taylor's trainer telling him he wants to throw shots to the body. Nice stiff jab by Taylor. Once upon a time, Jermaine Taylor was considered for all intents and purposes. He really did to a great extent. You know, he beat a legend of Bernard Hopkins. Winky Wright, Corey Spinks. Now Carl Frotch. Undefeated has never lost. It's not as if Taylor has been bad in the last part of fight. Get this right cross through. Taylor putting his punches together at the end of the round. Trying to steal it. They bump heads. And wow. And Frotch doesn't want to attack wildly. Taylor looks like he has plenty of gas. Continue to pop been very effective in this round, but Frotch has slammed some very good punches as well. Also, it's starting to swell up a bit. Taylor, left hook, right hand combination. But, and this one's up for grabs, but his problem is he may have dug a lot of gas in the tank, folks. He said he'd been eating well, sleeping well, training well. 7.83 along with Gibbons, but I, you know, I don't know if Robert Rickrecken's that far off because there were a couple down. He, they might only be a couple down. The whole round. Combination punching by Frotch. Most of those blocked by Taylor, but right hand connecting by Taylor, and he doubled up the jab as he stepped back, but Frotch right back at him. Taylor lead right hand. Got off to a great start in the first five rounds. There's a big looping right hand starting to creep into his head. But look at him come back and put together a combination. Left hook by Taylor. Blocks the left hook. Uppercut right hand. Frotch pouring it on. And become a superstar in his 
country. Taylor, right hand, chopping down. They're giving and they're taking. Round 11. Jermaine may be running out of gas. But he's still throwing bombs, but I don't know if he's landing as many important punches as Frotch in this round. The Englishman wants to retain it. The looping right hand has been effective for Frotch. Right hand oh. staggers. Taylor, Taylor's in trouble. Frotch pouring it on. Taylor, he's ready to go. On foreign soil against the former undisputed champ. And he's got him on the ropes. And under a minute to go. Frotch again. Taylor, wild lunging punches. Taylor trying to catch himself. And here we go to round 12 here, and then you got your rhythm and composure here. Punch. Bang, there's a the right hand. There's a the right hand again. It left up miss, but that was it. The fight was over. Did well, you it wasn't actually over there. It was over in a minute. And the referee says, defend yourself at all times. He wasn't even looking at me when I was hitting him at the end there. He was totally gone. We'll have a look now. He was badly hurt and had a free shot at him. Body shot right hand to the chin, uppercut miss, straight right through the middle. Here comes another right hand. Bang, his arms are dry. He's looking at the floor. I could have done whatever I wanted to him. Great decision by the referee. And still, the WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Carl.